eight years after this picture was made, the French king, Charles VIII, invaded Italy, causing great disturbance in Milan, Naples, and Florence, and unleashing what one chronicler of the time described as the years of wretchedness and innumerable terrible calamities. There is in the National Gallery one very remarkable echo of those terrible calamities, Botticelli's mystic nativity. It is the artist's only signed work, painted around 1500, when many were in dread that the world would actually come to an end. Its Greek inscription at the top shows not just the new interest in classical languages, but the anguish in which the artist and many others were at that stage living. I, Alessandro, it reads, made this picture at the end of the year 1500, in the time of the troubles of Italy. And it then goes on to quote, in a very puzzling and confused way from the apocalypse, talking about the chaining of the devil. Nobody, I think it's fair to say, knows what this means. But I think we can all be fairly confident, looking at the picture, what it is about. The impact of the birth of Christ, the ultimate triumph of good over evil, and the possibility that men may live as angels. while evil, the devil, hurries away and hides on the right and on the left-hand side destroys himself in a particularly excruciating fashion. In the centre is the birth of Christ, but treated in a quite astonishing way. An enormous virgin, you look at her size compared with the kneeling men to the right, worships the newborn child. Above, angels dressed in green, red, and white dance with celestial elegance, balancing crowns, garlands, and olive branches, the symbols of the Prince of Peace. Below, the consequences of the birth of Christ are enacted in three unforgettable scenes, each figuring a man and an angel. Slowly, as we move across, the men and the angels stop struggling and start embracing. The man is raised up until he is higher than the angel, and the branch of peace is handed over from heaven to man. The mystic nativity is one of the great dreams of hope in Western painting. And hope was going to be particularly necessary as the 16th century opened. The next 50 years were going to witness not only the upheavals of the Reformation, but wars far bloodier than any that Botticelli had known.